Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Monday afternoon from where else? Outside of Wall Street on this beautiful day, and that's why I'm in a good mood. It may be Friday, but look around me. You got the East River, you got ferry boats, you got the sun, and I'm about to get myself a drink because it's nearly 4 o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. Stocks, they have been on the upside for most of the day, and me, I'm ready to drink. It's happy hour here in the Big Apple. And now it's time for me to stand up and get down to business because today, U.S. stocks kicking off the week. That's right, kicking off the week well on the upside. This due mostly in part to investors continuing to focus on a rise in oil prices as well as investors taking in comments from Fed Chair Janet Yellen. Now, Janet Yellen speaking on the economic outlook and monetary policy at the World Affairs Council of Philadelphia. She said the Federal Reserve Fund's rate probably needs to rise gradually over time. She also said while the overall labor market situation has has been quite positive, Fr Friday's report was disappointing. But most importantly, Fed Chair Janet Yellen in her speech today omitting any specific reference to time. Meanwhile, a lack of domestic data turning a lot of attention elsewhere. We have the U.S. dollar index continuing to trade mildly lower. We also have crude oil futures for the most part trading more than 2% higher. This amid near-term near supply disruptions in Nigeria. At the same time, gold prices inching higher. And when you combine all of that right now, you have yourself a session where about five stocks are in the upside for every two decliners. Just a few blocks away over at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this the first trading session of the week. And it's a Monday, and rather than speak about corporate data, because there really is none, we have to talk about sports. Number one, this past weekend, yesterday, namely, the New York Mets did lose, but I will say this, the dark night may happen to be back. Let's go, Matt Harvey. We need another win coming up very soon. At the same time, the Sharks trying to take a bite out of the Penguins. Maybe they'll make a series of it. And there was actually a game two of the NBA Finals, but judging by the score, I don't think there was much of a game, to be honest with you. And with that stated, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. If you're in a tri-state area, continue to stay nice and cool and drink and stay in the air conditioning because it's beautiful outside. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. For Modern Wall Street saying, take care. I'm James Swinnett.